What we're gonna do is go over very simple steps that you can do to do an entire workout um, full body without using any equipment except for a park bench. So let's I think you, this workout would be um, applicable to anyone, whether they're beginner or advanced, it's just how many reps you wanna do, the intensity at which you're doing it. And one of the things I like to do, I do this workout personally, I like to add wind sprints in between each set, so I'm pretty tired by the end. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we might skip the wind sprints today, <laughs> but you can add the wind sprints. Yeah. First thing we're going to do is called hot potato. It's all not only going to increase your stamina and your cardiovascular capacity, but it's also going to help with your quads and your hip flexors. Okay, so one foot's up on the bench, one foot is slightly back, arms are to the side, and you drive the knee up. As soon as you get down, you're going to pop right back up, and it's going to be very quick. So, you can do this as a family. <laughs> Dad in front, mom in back. <laughs> Do a good burn on oh, both yeah. sides. Do a little bit in your calves too. Oh, right through the quadriceps. Yeah. This is in and out push-ups. Okay. Do. So we can do. We're gonna start off with a wide base. You're out on your toes. Body's in good alignment, nice and straight. Core is tight. Get that chest down there. Then you're gonna bring your hands in. Do the diamond push-ups. Okay. Working those triceps. Back out. Down. In and down, okay? Exhale as you come up. I'm gonna take my legs wider than Cynthia because I don't have as much upper body strength <laughs> as Cynthia. So I'll never get through these if I don't. And taking the legs wider does help disperse the weight a little bit and I can support my core better. Um, single leg stands. So you're gonna sit down on the bench, you're gonna lift one leg up, and you're gonna stand up. Now this really works your hamstrings and your core. Now the key is not to let your butt slam down on the bench. You're gonna try to sit down as gently as possible, and you're gonna try to stand up without putting your other leg on the ground. So the leg is extended. Mm -hmm. Arms up, mm -hmm. and let's stand up. Oh. <laughs> so what's really nice about this also works your balance. Which is very important for injury prevention. Mm -hmm. And Feel it right in my butt. butt. If you're at more of a beginner fitness level, you can put your heel down, use it for a little bit of support just to get yourself up off the ground. Okay, same thing, set the heel down as you're gonna sit. Eventually, as you get more comfortable doing these, you can stand up on your own without putting any feet down. But as a rule of thumb, you never wanna use your hands to help yourself get up. I know. Three. And if you focus Four. a little bit on coming down slow, it really does give it that extra little exercise. Our single leg dips. You're gonna put your hands back on the bench, facing forward. You're gonna have one leg up, and you're gonna go part way down, depending on how much you wanna challenge yourself. Um, the heel of your hand is on the bench. I'm gonna have my right leg up, straight as possible, and coming down. So about a 90 degree angle. This one is great because it works the triceps, as well as strengthening your hamstrings. Actually, I really like this one a lot. <laughs> So if you have tight shoulders, you can feel it stretching out my shoulders. Okay, switch sides. You always want to be careful not to go down too far. You can really damage your collarbone and shoulders. Side is a side plank. What you're going to do is place one hand on the bench with your body facing outward. Have the other hand up and you're just gonna hold this position, keeping your core nice and tight and make sure your body is in straight alignment. The heel of the hand is down, mm -hmm. and then extend the legs out. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And it's really the underside, is that what I'm focusing on? The obliques, yes. Okay. Now, if you need a little extra help, you're a beginner, you can place one foot in front, okay? That gives you a little extra help. Put that heel down, and you're still gonna feel it in your obliques. If you want more of a challenge, you go ahead, and lift that foot up. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have to have really strong hip flexors here. Yeah, you can feel as soon as you lift your leg up. Yes. You want more of a challenge, you can go up and down. I mean, there's a lot of different variations <laughs> for this to, you know, the really hardcore people. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is okay. This is enough of a challenge. 
You generally want to keep your arm nice and straight. This is keeping in alignment. You don't want to have your arm wiggling all over the place. Okay. And this also strengthens your shoulders. Ooh, the breath here is important, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You always want to focus on good breathing. And it's the last exercise are flutter kicks. You're going to slide your butt all the way down to the edge of the bench, grab on behind you, lean back into a 45 degree angle, and you're going to kick your legs in a flutter motion, keeping it relatively small. Okay, it's going to help work your core. Edge. Butts on the edge and lean back, 45 degree angle. Keep your body in nice alignment. Grab onto the bench. Keep your feet nice and straight. Feet are flexed. I can feel that working right in the middle of my core. Lower abs. Focus on good breathing. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. That's the general rule of thumb of any exercise. And you want more of a challenge, you can lean back even more. Now, is it okay if the heel gets lower than the bench? Yes, that's okay. It's actually a good thing because you're getting more range of motion. That's what's great on the bench because if you were doing this on the floor, you wouldn't be able to go as low. Okay. So it's actually more challenging. So Cynthia, if anyone wants to find you, where can they find you? Um, they can always email me at dallastraining at yahoo.com or you can find me on Facebook under Cynthia Dallas or at Let's Get Fit Training. Okay, and then you also said you do a boot camp. Yes, I do outdoor boot camp every Saturday morning um, in North Hollywood Park. It's on the corner of Tahunga and Magnolia. And uh, we have a class at 9 a.m. and then we have one at noon. Your first class is free, no obligation, so there's no reason for you not to come out and come and see us and get fit.